Hey everyone, Shashank this side. I hope you all are doing well today and safe at home. As you can see on my screen, today we'll be going to learn about how you can integrate your AWS Manage Microsoft Active Directory with AWS Single Sign-On. So basically what we are trying to achieve, so let's say you have a multiple accounts within AWS, you want to implement MFA, multi-factor authentication, or you want to have one place where you can have like multiple accounts shown up and just to manage it more easier way, we'll be going to integrate our AWS Manage Active Directory with AWS Single Sign-On. What is Single Sign-On? I have already covered the concept of Single Sign-On, how you will be going to integrate your Azure Active Directory with AWS Single Sign-On. Those topic has already been covered. What is Directory Services? How you can create Active Directory within AWS? That was the last video that I placed on my channel. And today I'll be going to show you how you can integrate Active Directory with AWS Single Sign-On. And the same concept will be going to work with your on-premise Active Directory. I don't have any on-premise setup with me. That's why I'm trying to show you the concept, the flow, how you can use AWS Manage Microsoft Active Directory to connect with your Single Sign-On. So these are the steps that we have to uh, configure. So you have to go to single sign on settings choose the identity source and select the active directory that what we have in aws directory services review and confirm and then we'll be going to check what are the users that we can try to log in with the certain level of access given to aws portal so let me jump to my aws management console as you can see this is the directory service that i created it's a microsoft manage ad standard uh, addition if i go inside this so i have two availability zone two dns ip addresses so when it comes to the on-premise ad you have to make a trust relationship between this active directory and your on-premise so you'll be able to connect from your on-prem to aws environment so for that you have to go to networking and security and you'll be going to configure some sort of networking configuration as I said, I don't have any on-premise AD setup. That's why I'm just trying to show you the concept and the configuration flow. The same flow will be going to have for your on-premise AD as well. Okay, so if I go to my machine, I have a machine which is joined to my AD. As you can see, it's the domain is let's go tech in a cloudy way .com. If I go to server manager, I'll show you the server is connected to my AD local server so this is the server name and this is the domain that i have created which is managed from aws now the next step just to show the configuration what we have to do go to aws management console navigate to single sign on i am in northern virginia my active directory service is in northern virginia so let's click enable aws sso this takes like nearby 30 seconds to configure it's shown up the message over here if you're aware of uh, the previous video that i have created on single sign-on you will be able to know like what are the configuration and all those stuff has been going to be configured within single sign-on concept so i'll be sh going to share the link as well for these videos please go through a uh, single sign-on concept because this is one of the important concept that most of the company obviously implement as part of the security concern as well right now this is my aws single sign-on this is the portal URL. So we'll be going to use this URL to log in from our Active Directory user. Okay, so for that, what we have to do now before uh, going anywhere, let's go to users. I don't have any users over here. Let's go to group. I don't have any group. It's totally blank single sign-on because I just enable in front of you. If you go to AWS account, I have two accounts integrated with it, permission set. I don't have any permission set as well created. So first let's go to dashboard, click on choose identity source. By default, it is selected as AWS SSO. Click on change, select the active directory. So I have already covered SSO and external provider with Azure AD and within SSO module of AWS. Now within active directory, the directories that has been created within your directory services it will show up over here so select i have only one so let's select that one 
click review you have to do an accept okay change the identity source okay so this will be going to take few more seconds to complete disconnecting this from SSO and changing it to the directory services ID return to the setting click cancel now the identity source has been changed from AWS SSO to AWS Managed Microsoft AD. So the next step, this is the sort of simple configuration that you can use. Now, if you see the message, your identity source is where you administer your users, groups, where AWS SSO authenticate your user. So one of the best uh, benefit of doing these kind of configuration, whether it is from Azure AD, from your on-prem AD, or from your AWS Manage AD, you don't have to create individual IAM user. So this has to be created, the best practices, this has to be created on a master account. This is my master account, from where you can uh, manage your permissions, groups, and set of users, okay? Now, if I go to, AWS account. So before that, let's go to our server Active Directory. Within user section, let me create a user. So I have a user created Shashank. Let me create another user. Let's say Abhishek and copy that. Copy user login. Click next. Let's set the password. I'll keep the simple one. Test one, two, three, four. Test one, two, three, four okay password never expire let's keep it uh, that way for now next finish so user has been created okay now how this user will get access to my different AWS management console so for that what we have to do go to AWS SSO on uh, user section okay so let's go to AWS account click on this account where or let's select both accounts i want to assign a users click on assign users this is the domain that i have and search for abhishek okay and this is not a group this is a user abhishek is a user it's not a group search for that and we'll get the user id next permission set since i don't have any permission set created click on create permission set and i'm going to give s3 full access permission you can uh, define as per your requirement. So click on create custom permission, next detail, and all this has been covered in the previous videos of SSO. Click on S3 full access. Okay, there we go. one more S. Session duration one hour, attach AWS manage policy, and I'll search for S3 full access. Let's see, we have only one policy with S3 full access. Tagging, review, create. So permission set has been created, okay? Now we have to uh, select both account again, click on assign user, and we'll search for user called Abhishek. Okay, search for it. We'll select the user, and this user is coming from the Microsoft AD, right? Click on permission set and we'll have one permission set which is S3 full access, click finish. This will be going to provision. We don't have to leave this particular page until unless it gets completed. Now the configuration has been completed successfully. Let's click on proceed to AWS account. Now to log into AWS account, what we have to do, go to the dashboard, grab the customize, you, uh, grab the portal URL, you can customize this URL as well. Okay, let me open an incognito session in Chrome. Click here. Let's see. So we have to log in with our user ID Abhishek, which is coming from our Microsoft AD. So we just have to wait. You can see it's redirecting to the login page of AWS apps. Now we have to give username as Abhishek and password test at one, two, three, four, sign in. Now, my user called Abhishek, which is coming from the Active Directory, has been authenticated. Now, inside my devices, you can see two accounts. If you click on both the accounts, you will see S3 full access. We have two options, management console access and command line. If you click on command line, this will give you the key because it's trying to retrieve the credential for S3 full access. You can see uh, either 
use environment variable or use credential file these are the token and access key that you can use to log in from CLI cancel click on management console this will redirect to our first account which is the master account let's go take in a cloud event and this hyphen two is my member account you can see it's getting redirected and log into my master account and here we go the login is successful that means our integration with Microsoft AD is working perfectly fine you can see it's AWS reserved SSO full access and this is the unique ID now if I go to any of the other resources let's say I am I'll be getting an access denied error because I have given only few s3 full access right rest of the resources has not been given access to you are not authorized but if I go to s3 bucket I'll be able to see all the s3 bucket and I can do like upload delete and rest of the other stuff operations that s3 full access will come with okay so these are the four s3 buckets that I have in master account let's click on sign out and let's go to applications again and let's click the second account click on management console it will again redirect to our uh, second account signing into your second account okay the second account sign in is also successful you can see it's the same s3 full access this is the different account id perfect so our integration with sso and ad is working fine the next step that i want to uh, show you is like how you can add an additional layer of security basically whenever you create an iam user you do an mfa authentication right with an, with the help of google authenticator or any other authenticator so for that what you have to do click on users there is a section called mfa devices click on mfa devices now on which of the user you want to do uh, mfa protection let's say abhishek i'm not going to do that but i'll show you how to do that click on uh, select the user and there is something called mfa devices click on register mfa and give the name this will be the username that will be shown on the portal so i'll keep the same abhishek next configuration you have to do a qr code scanning once you done the qr code scanning you will get uh, your uh, mfa code put it over here and register with mfa devices so let me do one more uh, step for you guys i'll scan the code from my mobile okay so the scanner has been done and i have an id 313 register mfa device now abhishek has been authenticated with an mfa device now next step let's go to our chrome window again click on sign out and i'll sign out from here as well we'll try to log in to aws account this will ask for additional layer of authentication which is mfa let's give the password okay click on sign in let's see here we go our mfa is working fine over here let me give the code that i have for this user 197556 this is a trusted device sign in and here we go we are able to see our two of the aws account which has been given access to click on any one of it management console and this will sign into our management console of master account so that's how the mfa will be going to work in this particular scenario so there will be like two level of authentication first you have to give your user id and password which is coming from your microsoft ad on top of that the mfa has been implemented on aws side so you have to authenticate a un by a unique code with your authenticator installed on your machine or on your mobile okay so i hope this clears a lot in terms of how you can do an integration of your single sign on with microsoft manage ad from amazon and again when it comes to on premise ad you just have to do a trust level of uh, scenario where you have to make a trust relationship between your on prem ad and microsoft ad present in aws account so once that is done the users from your on prem ad will be able to access this particular portal url which can be customized as per your uh, company name for example abc 
app.awsapps.com slash start and whatever the application uh, that user has been given to access let's say five accounts five different aws account he'll be able to see all the five list of a different aws account having a mfa implemented on top of your single sign-on from your on-prem ad right but again remember access to aws accounts is different and access to the resource with resources within aws account is different so you'll be able to see all the accounts in your my app section once your on-prem AD users or groups has been synced with our uh, AWS single sign-on. But the level of access like access to S3, your EC2 instances, Route 53 and all those stuff will be maintained within your AWS because those are native to AWS. The permissions are native to AWS and you create permission sets within AWS account. That's what we created over here like S3 full access. This is something not coming from on-prem AD. It has to be managed from AWS and try to do it from your master account where you can uh, like restrict your access, you can maintain your access plus the billable resources. All this has to be done as part of the best practices. So that's it guys for this particular video. I hope this clears a lot in terms of the concept and the configuration. If you're facing any issue, just place out a comment in comment section and I'll be there to help you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.